What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers. And welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Libra, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. This free channel is like reading for sign of Libra. This can resonate if you have Libra, any aspects of your chart, Sun, Moon, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Menhaven, and Jupiter chart. So, for the basics, time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate, Libra. Free general collective reading for Santa Libra. Um, I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Men, Haven, and Jupiter charts for additional message or messages um, if they, uh, if you want to. I love you guys so much. Um, just saying, just saying, saying. It helps support a single mama. Just saying, just saying. Okay. So um, I received one channel message for your sign, Libra, for Santa Libra. I heard um, a hearse has been broken by someone's words and their strong will and being high up in the spiritual realm. Um, I heard someone had uh, someone's name in the jar, in a jar and it has completely shattered. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So the hearse has been broken. It could be somebody that's put a hearse against you or somebody you're connected to. Now a hearse is like a hearse and a cat, uh, cat, a hearse and a, uh, a curse and a hex. It's like a curse and a hex combined. It's some pretty strong dark arts, voodoo, voodoo, witchcraft, dark arts crap, basically. Um, it could be somebody that put a hearse against you, or you put a hearse against somebody else. Only you know your situation is going out anybody else, Libra. But I heard it's already been broken by somebody's words and their strong will and their um, being high up in the spiritual realm. So uh, light side spiritualists broke the hearse with their words and their strong will and their being high up in spiritual ranks. Um, it could be you as a light side spiritualist that broke this hearse or somebody you're connected to, um, Libra. Only you know your situation, so I am not anybody else. But um, somebody has somebody's name in a jar, but the jar has completely shattered on her. So already in the energetic space, it's already shattered. So um, it could be you that's done this with your powerful words and being high up in the spiritual realm or somebody else. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else leaves, okay? Congratulations, you're the one that broke the hearse. Um, maybe for some you put the hearse. I'm not sure. Uh, only you know your situation. Sorry, not anybody else, okay? okay. We have um, King of Wands reversed, the lovers upright, the hierophant upright, butterfly change for the better. Yeah, change um, with the hearse being uh, broken and the name in the jar being shattered, uh, whether you have shattered it or somebody you're connected to has. How that resonates and applies Libra. I love it, I love it, I love it so much. All right, so King of Wands reversed, the lovers upright, Hierophant reversed. Spirit messages you have for like this, but not only that. So, five, 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 a change for the better. Spirit messages you have for not Libra. Chaos, number 42, could be a very, very significant number of one's life, number 42, chaos. A Libra is about to take their power back from a very inaffectionate lover. Very inaffectionate. Unaffectionate. Okay, Leaves. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Now, I feel you can be masculine or feminine. Um, some kind of inaffectionate, unaffectionate lover energy. Uh, they have no desire, no drive, no motivation towards you. And, um... I mean, it's lovers upright, but then we have the um, hierophant reverse. So for a lot of you guys, I feel you're not legally married to them. Um, I feel it's like a third party, a sneaky link, a situationship, or you're just dating them um, casually, how that resonates. But I don't feel you're legally married to them because we have hierophant reversed. Um, but it does seem like there's some kind of commitment there. For some, it could be sugar mom or sugar daddy. I didn't hear it was, but um, I don't feel bad for a lot of you guys. I feel it's just like dating or... Um, Casual dating or um, third party, sneaky link, what have you, what have you. But 
They're very inaffectionate, unloving, um, no desire, no drive, no motivation towards you. I don't feel they make you feel sexy or loved or, um, or anything of that nature, like the way a lover is supposed to. Um, I don't feel they boost up your confidence and esteem. For some, I feel they could be abusive. Um, I didn't hear, hear they were, but we have the chaos card, so I feel for some they do. I think they intentionally cause chaos in your life, or they don't want to build you up. They want to break you down. That's what I feel. Um, but I heard you're about to break away from this person, so and I don't blame you because they're showing up as energetic spaces. I mean, no desire, no drive, no motivation towards you, but yet you are still in it. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, but of course you can take the advice or leave it, okay? But I heard you are going to break away. At least for one, you're going to break away. But only you know your situation is not anybody else. For some, you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Taurus because we have Gemini and Taurus energy. If you are, they could have Gemini or Taurus and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, No, Men, Hayward, Jupiter, Charts. If you are. Only you know your situation is not anybody else. But I don't feel they build you up. I feel they break you down. And I think for whoever is about to break this off with this, um, sex, it's a sexual person, somebody you have are currently in sexual contact with, or you have been, um, they don't do it for you. I don't feel they do it for you. I don't feel they make you feel sexy or loved, or for some, they might not even please you in the sexual department. Um, you might just be with them, be with them. Um, for some, I feel it could be for looks or social status, um, possibly, but for one of you guys, you're going to break it off. So only you know if you're going to break it off, not anybody else. I feel they cause chaos, more chaos than they do peace in your life. And it's about to be a change for the better for you. If this resonates and applies for you, uh, Libra. You got your bad self. Um, because nobody deserves to be in an abusive, unloving, ungiving, unkind um, love dynamic. Because that's not real love. It's not real love. It's um, it's a, it's abuse and um, using. It's using and domineering and um, abuse. Anybody needs to hear that. Chaos. This person has done nothing because chaos in your life. You're about to break free in a huge way for one. You did it for society. Oh, Lord. So for one, you did it for society. So you did it for society standards and what the Joneses would think and what have you, what have you, for one. Of course, only you know your situation is right now, anybody else. But for one, you did it for society, for the, for the Joneses. But it sounds like you're getting tired of it. Or you already have been tired of it, and you're about to break, basically break the grain, break away. Um, and I don't blame you. Um, I broke the grain a long time ago. Um, my official divorce was January 2014, and it was one of the best moments of my life. And that's just the truth. Um, it really was. And I'm just being for real, for real. Um, now, it's been hard financially uh, at times. But freedom-wise, of myself and my choices and um, of where I want to go in life or what I want to do and what have you, what have you, being just me and my own independent decision making has been the best thing uh, for me. Of course, everybody has a situation and story and decision to make, but, um, <coughs> excuse me, but <coughs> you have to find somebody to build you up and not break you down. And that's just the truth. And my marriage wasn't doing it for me. And that's just the truth. Um, I was giving, 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 and I wasn't really receiving anything in return. Um, this is not a marriage that I'm feeling. We have higher verse, it's not a marriage. But one of you guys, I think, is about to take on that same mindset, though, is what I'm trying to say. Of course, only you know your situation is showing out anybody else. I think you've been having a lot of chaos in this relationship, a lot of um, a lot of chaos. I mean, whoever this person is, it can be any sign. For some, I feel it could be a Gemini or a Taurus. For some, it could be any other sign. For some, it could be Scorpio because it's chaos energy. But you plug it in how it resonates, okay? A change for the better. This is about to produce huge changes for you. Huge positive changes. And for one, you're about to be very honest with someone in your past. You felt you should have been honest with them a long time ago and an apology. Okay. Her, this is about to produce huge positive changes in your life. And for one of you guys, you're going to be honest with, very honest with somebody in your past. I heard you felt you should have been honest with them a long time ago. 
So break for one, you're going to break away from this person. I mean, they're showing no desire, no drive, no motivation towards you. Uh, I don't blame you. And it sounds like they're causing chaos in your life. Um, if that resonates. So for one, you're going to break away. Only you know what you're going to do, not anybody else. But I heard it's going to cause, whoever that's for, it's going to cause huge positive changes. And um, uh, for one, you're going to reach out to somebody in your past and apologize. I heard you felt like you should apologize a long time ago. So that's going to be a change for the better, I think, too. For some, I think you could have regret or guilt or something of something that happened in the past with some someone of your past. Now, whoever that is, it could be platonic, it could be um, uh, a past partner or any other situation and dynamic, whoever this person is, okay? All right, I love you guys so much. I hope this helps, and I'm safe.